Today I will talk about the evolution of the QCK pad, the German Dornfinger Gleitmatte. Let's go! As you already heard, um, it's a German product called Gleitmatte by uh, the company Dornfinger which basically is um, are like three or four people as much as I know who are manufacturing in China after or they just not pick something out of a catalog and say we want this, we just want this, what you produce and want to sell it. These guys are aged like me, like 30 to 40 and they are playing like they were 14 or 16, played Counter-Strike a lot. One of them is uh, 37 years old, is playing Face it right now on um, level 9 and 10 uh, in Counter-Strike. So that's basically a product uh, made by persons or people um, who are engaged or influenced by playing and um, who are not sure they are driven to sell a product. But that's basically on with the background or uh, mindset that they want to make something different to what is out of the market and to um, share their experience and knowledge and um, what they were seeking of in the mouse or mouse pet with you. They are not selling tons and millions of pets but as I can tell you from what I heard out of my stream and what I were finding on Twitter and um, from other people um, from their responses they're doing a very good work for on the products they have done so far. They have a mouse which called Vino E, which has a, a, yeah, just a basic shape. It only costs 55 euro in Germany. And yeah, it's just basic EC shaped mouse in my opinion, with a, a good sensor, um, 70 grams. <sighs> but with, with good Kales uh, GM 2.0 switches, uh, which have a very, very good feeling and with um, closed sides. Um, with, a, with a rubber, with good software. Basically, they try to bring a product, what you can't get right now, um, influenced by their own experiences and what they, how their imaginations are or made of uh, for a product to share with you and that what's they, what they have done here. And first, um, maybe I'll explain a little bit how I, um, I got this Gleitmatte. Um, so this mouse pad, one of my friends He's called Knochen, he's a very famous eSport moderator and commentator for CS and uh, is like one of the most um, published and viewed uh, eSports commenting persons in the German TV. Told me uh, some months ago, hey yo, new, hey, there's a German brand, Donfinger, Donfinger. I just was checking this out then after he told me and I was not very impressed or, or amused or um, hyped to get the product of them. And some weeks, months later, um, after I already made some good reviews, my reviews get more extended, more deep like this one will get, um, where I just found my way on YouTube. As most of you people who are here since the start already can see, I'm just not saying it's uh, 50 by 50, it's 3 millimeter, it's not smelling, it's good glide, uh, you can buy it. We don't do this anymore. <laughs> I mean. A lot of people can do this and doing this with their handicams and I have so much experience in production, production of um, gods, um, marketing, sales, physics, math, um, electrotechnic, programming. I've, uh, I've um, managed to learn and adapt a wide field, everything around IT, communication and also some crypto and way more, all the, the space around it. And also I was doing a Bachelor of Arts in um, Electromobility in the last time. And I learned a lot. You, I never stop learning, also learning every day till now. And I will never stop learning and collect experiences and um, brighten and open my mind to everything. I'm not close to something. For example, someone in the comments tells me something which I be might not aware of or I, I misunderstood at some point and he teaches me or he shows me that what I thought, think or talked about or talking about right now is not true or is maybe not as, as, it is, as I said, maybe it's a little bit different. I don't close my mind. I don't say, no, I, I'm 
my statement is the right one. I will reflect myself. I always reflect myself on a daily basis, to be honest. For example, when I have a long stream for 8 to 12 hours, after this I need two hours, guys, to come down from gaming. When I stop at 2 in the night on Fridays, I'm awake until 4 or 5, guys. It's not because I used booster. I just need to come down to understand, to reflect what happened, where my mistakes may be and also uh, what I were communicating with people in the stream, for example. Also, the same as me and my camera guy, we're meeting here uh, on a weekly basis. We're doing these videos for you and we don't get any money for this. We don't... I, um, don't think I sent me this pet here after some chats on Twitter. I don't get money either from him or he also did not force me to uh, review this, this pet or whatever. Also, even if people in future will uh, force or will try to force me by sending money and the product um, with, for example, a catalog of stuff I have to say or stuff I have not to say, like um, in Germany, it's like, or in Germany, it's like an, an, an to-do list, you know, or what you have to do. I will never do this. If they send a product and I disagree and they want it back, I send it back, I send the money back, I think I will get the product myself and will do, will do the review. Or I just will do the review of the product they sent me and send it back then and send the money also back. You always will get my honest review here of what I'm thinking, what I've seen in the product and I share my experience, I share my what I'm thinking and I don't say that's maybe always the right or it's always the 100% truth because I may be not 100% informed or maybe um, it's not what you think or what other reviewers think. It's just my channel and I try to open your minds guys to help you learn or get informed about products and stuff. You want to get informed, you want to have a um, deeper, uh, you want to get deeper involved with with because uh, you're seeking for something really special and you want to decide up front out of 20 which three you might want to choose to order, to test them. That's why I'm doing this here. And that's why I always, if someone asks in the comments, always will reply as good as I can. But if it's like just some claims of people who are just disagreeing hard, I will not answer, guys. But if it's something constructive, I will um, seek for the communication and I will try to communicate with the person to understand him and to reflect what I was telling in the video, for example. So basically, okay, I was not very amused or I was not very interested in these products. And um, later, Thomas from Dornfinger, which I already mentioned, was uh, like 37 years old, still playing games and is like, Having, having a room like me, full of desk mats, I have like 60 to 80 desk mats here still, uh, mouse pads, I, I'm regularly giving pets away guys, to friends, to family, to... When people need pets, they call me and ask, you where, you, uh, Mark, you have some pets? Or can you... I want to buy a pet or a mouse or something, can you tell me something what's good? Basically I say, bro, come over, I give you a pet and I give you a mouse. I'm doing this for good friends, not gonna lie. And um, I always try to um, keep you guys posted with the newest information about pets. That's why I nearly buy every pet which is interesting in my opinion, which is not based just an old pet or a copy of an old, old pet by a major brand or a big brand. Most of the very big players just release or reproduce uh, pets which already have worked. It's like doing the Volkswagen Golf every day again just switching these making a little facelift after three or four years at some pro at some brands and some companies always also doing this on um on the mouse pads one year the edges stitched the other year it's not stitched one year it's three millimeter next year it's four millimeter one year it's coated next year it's not coated basically there are a lot as a big variety of pets but a lot of pets are very very equal and some pets are clones of each other. We saw this, for example, on the Glorious when they just um, bought, an, I think, an Asus pet from Asus OEM manufacturer and uh, just rebranded it. And, but people saw when they cut it off that there still was the Asus mid layer into it and stuff. Um, 
that's what I'm doing here and I just want to, to show you or that you learn or understand what at first are the defects or the, the data or the specs they are most important for you and that's why I'm making these extended deep reviews and now the dawn finger I have here it's not like the 20 euro one you see on the website which is 480 by 420 the I had this one here and red he sent me without saying anything yeah I just asked for address sent me the, the pad so I just watched it was okay but I, I replied to him I don't want a front or something but um, I don't I don't think I want to make another review for a small pet which is pretty equal to other pets I already reviewed. At this point I just had it in hand. I did not play it. Thomas, don't be mad. I did not play the small one because I don't wanted to play the small pet. I was not interested in I had it here one day when we tried try to make review but I just uh, put it off of the desk because we had so many other stuff to review. Um, sometimes you also guys you see some reviews where I still have my long beard is because we are um, doing a lot of reviews and if something important comes in we just uh, release the important stuff before the old stuff so sometimes you see maybe an older video I hope you understand this but this pad in general I have here is 54 by 54 Thomas we're producing only four pieces of this one at their manufacturer in China because of my intention and I explained to him that due to my um, objective reviews of the uh, mouse pad market um, sizes of 40 by 40 or 42 by 40 or a little bit bigger which is like these um, for example these uh, Corsair pads in my opinion it's just outdated because people um, begin to play different games people improve people play with sleeves uh, people um, don't sit anymore on two euro shares on five euro desks they don't sit on a plastic desk or plastic chair anymore. Um, people uh, invest in their hobby. For these people who are buying products like this, gaming is the hobby. They have invested in a good chair from Herman Mill, for example, or Caro or Air Maxnomics or whatever. Whatever they liked and whatever they, they are able to spend on the product. And they have desks they enjoy for gaming and they want to perform very good because they are interested in performing, they're interested in gaming and they want, maybe they have a small audience, uh, so some people watching them on Twitch, like 10 people or 15 or whatever, or only three of his friends watching him. And he wants to play nice with a good pet. And in my opinion, these small pets right now, if you play low sense with a heavy mouse, high sense with a very light one, like the sound finish or whatever. And the trend is going to, to wireless, guys. Wireless. One thing on wireless is, if you use wireless and you are focused on the game, you are not thinking anymore about where is the, my fucking mouse of the pad. Because my mouse bungee is already doing force or pressure on the front of my mouse over the cable. There is not no such point why using a wireless. That's why wireless is the future in my opinion because of the feeling, the loose of the st stiffness and the influence of the behaving and positioning, p the positioning of the mouse. You definitely change positioning of your mouse by playing a wireless. I um, had this when I were changing from the Hattie S to Hattie S wireless, which was like 10 gram heavier, but I immediately changed the position where the mouse was on my mouse pad and you will do it also and you can't do it or you will not do it from from your mind or out of non thinking about it when you have a small mouse pad because the mouse pad the small size will limit the way or amount or the in general the behaving of your intuitivity you will you would with a big pad with a desk pad for example you intuitively would change it you would just, after some hours, you would be on a point where your mouse was never before. For me, example, with the Hattie's, with the wire, I was more like here. And with the wireless, I was more like here, to be honest. I was, it was, uh, the, I had the arm like here, but, but it was more like here. Because um, the, the angle was better for me to, to do flicks and to, um, to uh, hold angles on the Laurent. And 
if you have a small mouse pad, you will not do it. So that's why I were telling Thomas, I don't, I think it's outdated to do a small mouse pad. And he said, okay, let's do a square one. Um, I just do a test. And he sent me this test, um, one of four, um, query system, but he already told me after my intentions and after watching some more reviews, he is coming out with this pad for uh, main production in some weeks after you watch this video, one or two weeks more. I think he will uh, list it in an online shop maybe three weeks. I don't clearly know because delivery times and production in China right now is a little bit rough. You know, it's you can't clearly say like it's, uh, it's in two weeks you have it. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's one. Depends. Chinese also very special. They just tell you, you make the order and then you have to instantly pay basically in China. And then one day they just, hey, Pick you up your gear, man. Today, now, right now, call DAL Express. We don't want you have to gear here anymore. Uh, our warehouse is full. Please pick it up very fast. That's how China works. <laughs> and um, so one thing he told me is you will do a black, the normal one I have with the um, with the Dawn figure logo here on the side, which basically is not printed. They just uh, did not make black color on it. Um, like here, I hope you can see it. And then he will make the black one with the same logo which is like um, illuminated, which is, um, you know, from, from watches, when the sun, um, is, is, um, when you have sun or light on your watch, it like it charges the illumination. And when it gets dark, your watch is illuminated, like the, um, the numbers and stuff. You can see still in the dark because of this small illumination by the sun before how late it is. And something like that, I think, he will do on this logo and so your logo will be illuminated a little bit it's not rgb effect or whatever guys it's just i, I think it will just uh, glow a little bit and if he has this i want to see this thomas if you see this video just show me when you have it i want to see it or maybe send me one maybe i just paid also just i want to have it because i've i found uh, there's nothing on the market right now who has this as much as i know and i think it's a super nice idea it's like a gadget for gamers and these prices here for the standard pad right now, which was 48 by 4020, which is still viable uh, in black and four more colors as much as I know. Yeah, red, yellow and gray um, is an insane price, 20 euro. It's, it's peaking out the competition by far by 10 to 20 euro uh, on this desk size. And I can tell you, or I will tell you now why it's peaking out the competition, because it's not only this, the new size, maybe it costs five euro more than or 10 euro more later on this big size but it's also how it's made in general for people of you who are playing uh, since some years and already changed some pets and also played pets like qck or qck plus or some other pets um, or gp4 for example from x uh, from xtrafy or some other slower control pets some sovi pets you guys know how control pads are. Two series just invented very big sizes now, so they have big mats, but most of them are like 42 by 40 or 48 by 40 or something like that. And also these um, Corsair pads, I made three reviews of the 200 Pro, 250 Champion. 250 Champion are also very small in my opinion. This also can affect your aim. And if you're a pro player, for example, or you're playing a lot with a very low sense of Counter-Strike, you mostly sit like this on your desk. You're focused on the game because it's high ELO in on face up. You do this and you do this. And to be honest, it's way more enjoyable with a big pad. And you will also enjoy it way more with this pad because of how it's made in general. It's coated a little bit. The coating is like some people, uh, when they, I was talking or made a lot of reviews about X-ray pad, yeah, but it's coated, it's coated, Tor is coated, this is coated, this is coated, this is coated. This. Guy, I show you now, or I showed already on other ways, how you can check how it, or if it's really coated or not. Let's do this on this pad. I done it already for the German review. I still have this water here from Final Boy. He sent me this after my great review for the Final Mouse. And he said, you need this God water for better aim. And I have it now, and I will use it to show you how uh, the coating works on this pad. You see, um, uh, everything wet now. Uh, you see the small pearls. If you compare, for example, to Cordura, the Cordura would be directly, the pearls would be go away very, very fast. 
Here you can see that um, the roughness and just the nano spray, which is on the pet, per makes it a little bit pearly. So you, you see those small bubbles. But if you swipe over it, or you swipe and pressure it, it goes a little bit into the texture. So, now you, you will ask me, yeah, but why do they coat the coating with bad coating wears off? And coating makes it insustainable and um, um, there will be no linear down wearness or it will not wear off linear because um, I use the pad on some points more than on the others. That's maybe true. I also have no clue how long this coating will last. One thing I can tell you is that I did not found any bad or, or um, dislike comments or mentions of, about the coating on Twitter, nowhere on Twitter. Also on a short seek on Reddit, I did not found a real negative comment about this coating. I think, to be honest, when I watch this, the coating is very slight. And one thing here is when you when you watch the weaving, how how this pet is woven, how the, the fabric is made out of. It's very, very tight. But it's still like the friction still feels like a control friction by a tight weaving. It's a good comparable to these Game Sense Rada pet, which is a, a, a smooth um, microcontrol pet. Basically for me, this is for right now. If you're in Europe and are interested in GameSense Radar, for example, and you don't want to buy it in the States because of um, customs and all this stuff, you can buy this Glidemat because it has basically a better feeling for me because um, of the coating, which is doing a very, very linear glide. When I use the super light on it or when I, when I, when I just go with the super, super light over it, it feels very linear, very, very same on the on the front and on the end on some pads where the friction is too high the big pad is Disattracting you in your horizontal movement because yeah, does it stock? That's not a um, ice tiger or pee pee boys or something else That's stock, but as some of you guys know it can um, Affect the big light on the higher friction depending on the pad that your um, the force on the front or on the back on the mouse uh, depends on how you hold it. If you're not a pan group gamer, don't feel anything because pan group gamer just Panzer tape the mouse in German we say panzer tape. It's tank tape. You just it's like you have it in your hand BAM! It's there and it gets one with your hand The only feeling you have is when the mouse is, uh, is Or your hand is getting so sweaty that you can't hold it pan grip anymore That's all but for people who have a relaxed claw grip for People who play a nice fingertip grip, a relaxed long fingertip grip or a little bit claw fingertip hybrid. For those people, it's very important to feel the pet, to have a response over the glides. That's why most people update, it, update their glides to core glides or ice tigers or whatever. They just spend 10 to 20 euro again to uh, just get better glides with the mouse. Some people directly buy the new glides with the new mouse. Because an improved glide and an improved feeling on fingertip or claw grip gaming on every mouse. If it's heavy or light mouse, if it's big or small, if you are good or bad, will always give you a better response how your mouse and your pet are behaving. So how they work with each other, how the friction is, where you are, where your position is, how good your microcontrol is. There are pets out there, they are bad in microcontrol and there are pets out there like this which is the glide mat from Dawnfinger, which has a better microcontrol than the GameSense Radar, which is like, I know from this funny cheat from Reddit, by the way, for these cheats, I know there are a lot of cheats out there about mouse, mouse pads, sensors, clicks, blah, blah, blah. These cheats are basically made on, or they just some, there's some math behind us and some measurement, but for me, that's still very subjective. That's like, uh, subjective uh, meaning or uh, uh, interest behind it. So that's basically for some people, uh, GameSense Rada is a top pet in microcontrol um, on the control side for the control pets. But for me, it's like um, the Rada is like um, by just by, by the rubber they use 
and by the by the surface the rubber is not good enough in my opinion it needs to be improved i don't know who's doing this for them but it feels very cheap and um, yes it's it's very fluffy but it's not i don't know how it moves and how it behaves and how you can stretch it um, is showing me that the the quality or no it's not showing me that the quality is not good but for me it's like i i think when i have a pet like this that's a, a cheap low quality pet but when i have a pet which a very good made rubber where i can already when i touch the rubber i can feel yes yes it's a, a little bit softer than normal rubber but still it's not so soft that i directly pressure my my, my fingers on each other there's still at the end the resistance is still there and I, i can still feel that the rubber is not totally flat there on this point which gives me a way better quality feeling for this pet for the same or a better price in Europe. So if you want Games and Serata, try this, guys. The coating here is nuts. It's very good. And one main advantage of this coating, guys, is the, there's basically zero effect for you or a very low one on a high humidation. If you're living in an area where the humidity or the humidation is changing a lot, guys, this pet is very good. Why? If it would be not coated, it would be um, very influenced by it because of the tight weaving, which is not very big, like on the Super Control or Eba pet, um, which are control pets too, and have uh, like a fabric which is able to to um, to work with high humidity. This one, this texture would be not because it's too tight weaving, and the way uh, how it looks tells me that if it would be get um, would be not coated humidation would affect it it would be get a mud pet as much of you guys say i don't like the the this um this fact or term mud pet i think that's uh, misleading because not every every pet which is changing under humidation is a mud pet all pets changing different are, uh, under different conditions you can aware this by a fabric which is made out of a synthetic or um, you make a good coating that's the way Or you make a fabric which is not synthetic, which is like on the Eber on the control, which is able to handle humidity by layers and by the way how it's weaven. So here they choose something you will enjoy, a mid friction control with a coating on it, but with the coating will give you a linear glide with awesome microcontrol feelings on and control pad. I think that's one of the most enjoyable control pads with microcontrol abilities I've ever tested. I think if I compare it, for example, to the Equate, the non-coated one, the white one, I was playing also. This is, it's not the same. The Equate feels different in the glide. The reason is the Moeva weaving they are using is like, it's like chaos. It's not There's not a pattern they use, it's just like chaos pattern, how the Moeva is weaving. You, they only influence the fiber, how thick the fiber is, how they work the fiber before, if they color it, if they if they peel it off a little bit to make a tor, for example, which is not a coated pet, guys. Tor is a peeled off synthetic pet, that's why it's fast. And no, synthetic fibers are not easy or nearly zero influenceable by humidity. They're made out of synthetic, oil-based. Okay, guys, it's not working. And don't ask me anymore if this pet is coated. Yeah, I will tell you, I show you now in every video when a pet is coated or not, I will make coating proof for you always now. So this is coated, this is nice. The size is great, the price will be great. It's the better game since Raider. And if you compare it to artisan pets, it's a little, little, little bit softer than, and, and soft. But it's not so super fluffy like an X-Soft. Why this is important? An X-Soft is, um, is very, very good on starting and stopping. And I know Tense, for example, uh, a Valorant player, most of you people may know who are watching here. It's like a star in Valorant, one of the best players out there from the States right now, was using, for example, an um, Artisan Zero X-Soft. And then people started buying Artisan X-Soft. But guys, Artisan X-Soft is so soft that most of the people will sink in with mouse and arm and the movement on the flicks will get very slow. Sure, the stopping will get insane. That's true. 
but you will lose a lot of speed while the flick. You will need to um, make more mechanical work with your arm. The friction on the um, zero pads is very, very high. I think for me, by feeling with the arm, friction on the zero pads is like whew, QCK heavy, a little, little bit more from just by my by how I felt it. And I played it a long time in Valorant. I also was enjoying this. I like the secureness you can have by this high friction and, and the way how Artisan made this pad. I played the soft and the mid, but I can tell you that here, because of the a little bit softer uh, rubber they used compared to the sponge of the soft, you have same control like the, um, like the zero in my opinion. It's pretty much the same with a lower friction on your arm and on your mouse with a more linear movement. For example, when you are just playing some um, COD or Battlefield or Apex instead of your Counter-Strike or your Valorant, you can still enjoy it. So it's like the usability of the pad due to the coating and the microcontroller abilities is very high. The pricing is awesome and I think it's an awesome alternative for people who, who are open to coated pads which are mid-speeded, not, not slow and which are not mud pads which not get affected by humidation and um, temperature. So as so far for now, I told you everything about the pad, how I feel it, how I enjoyed it. For me, the pace was a little bit too slow. Uh, I played Apex with this. I was directly, uh, tracking was directly good because the control is so, so high. But basically for me, for the real sick shit, it was not fast enough. Right now I'm playing um, smooth and rough micro control pads, aqua control from um, X-ray pad. And the rough one is able to do very fast micro controlled um, trackings and um, uh, movements. I was not able to do this because just by my own feeling and the the way I have to think about it, I would need way more time to adopt to the pad to make the same stuff, which would lead me to bring more mechanical uh, force or to, to just use more of my muscles and to just rewrite my um, muscle memory to do the same stuff I already doing with the Aqua Control Plus. But nevertheless, this is an awesome all-round pad with coating which comes in 54 by 54 soon in some weeks. Uh, maybe when you see this um, video, it's maybe already there, I don't know. But it's nice guys, try it. If you're on your rope and you want to try it, you want to play an upgraded QCK pad, which I was talking about right in front and the beginning of the video, this is the evolution of QCK with very good stitched edge, a good coating, nice micro control with a fair amount of friction which is not too much and not too less. You will have awesome feeling with heavy and light mouse, um, with Soundkönig or super light, you know, with a G Pro, with your Ochochi, with your Zeiss Rail, with everything of that. So, so far I just have to thank you that you are still watching. Got a little bit extended again, I know. I always know um, at some point there's so much in my mind, I just want to explain you guys, cause I want to, to see and uh, I want to give you just a deep look. Um, that's why I'm making this channel. I'm not making this channel to just help people selling their mouse pads or mouse. That's not why I'm here. And that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm just, I, I only, I'm not want to teach you or influence you with my own opinion or mean or whatever, what I think about something or someone or whatever, or about industry or I just want to, to share my opinions, my look on things with my experience. I gathered in all the years, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I done a lot, most of you guys already know. Um, and I just want to share it with you to give you guys the ability to learn. To learn, recreate and get better. Maybe some people will do better reviews in some years or out of this, what you're learning here. I hope so. Because that's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this because I want to be the next YouTube star. I just do this out of passion. That's my passion. To share what I feel, what I think, what I saw. And how, how the world in gaming right now is for me. And I just share everything right out of me. There's no influences from people who pay money or something. I hope you enjoyed the video guys so far. So. If there's anything I did not mention or you think 
I embarrassed or uh, I, I forgot or I got influenced by Thomas von Dornfinger or something, just write it down in a comment. If it's an intelligent comment or an, an comment um, where I have to reflect myself, I will definitely answer it. I will try to do consensus with you guys. I will never block someone, but if it's like, yeah, but this and this, it's just better. I will never respond, guys. If you want to get into talk with me, think about you, what you want to say about everything in the sentence you want to um, write as comment, then write it and then let's watch what you write. I will definitely reply, guys. I always love to communicate with you. You also can communicate every day on stream with me. And if you are here right now and watched until this point and you did not leave a follow, would be nice if you leave a follow. I know you click anyway all the videos, but you just want to spam your follow list on the left side on YouTube. But I would like to see who is following me, who are the people, or just if you only want to give a thumbs up or say, was a nice review, write it down, it helps me. It builds me up and gives me the feeling that what I'm doing, the work, the passion I try to share with you is, um, is reaching you guys. So that you also enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you soon on the next video. Bye guys.